Man, what a mess. <laughs> so that's how much we have pretty much done so far over the past couple days. Now, the Darlingi, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, we're going to be rehousing in here. And I made a very, very well, surprisingly, I actually made a perfect round burrow. And let me show you, for example, the marinas, right? Just a quick update. They've pretty much started using their pre-made burrows. Look at that. That is awesome. That is why we make pre-made burrows for them. It's just the difference is they web around the outsides. So, number one, you can put the burrow wherever you like in the enclosure. And number two, you make life easier for them. And number three, when you sometimes tarantulas, when they dig a burrow, they're not happy, they'll go walk around to the other side and dig another one. When you dig one burrow, most likely they're just going to go in and stay there from, from what I have seen. Could be wrong, but that's, that's what happens from my experience. So, without any further ado, let me slap on this tripod. <clears throat> and we can get this, get this tarantula in. So here's what we're dealing with today. This right here. That's what we're dealing with. And let's see how this goes. I really hope no, no jump scare like yesterday's video. Darlingis, I would say they're more chill than Marshallis from based on my experience. Marshallis are, I don't know, they're more, more cuckoo. You see, Darlingis are, whoa, I just heard it stridulate. Darlingis stridulate too, interesting. So there we go. That's a, yeah, I think that that burrow should fit him or her. Look at the horn, so prominent. Hmm. Almost like the rhino horn baboon. Oh, mosquito, did I get it? No, I did not. So yeah. Um. Let's wait for it to, well, not, not wait now, but we will allow it to get used to its new enclosure. That's a big upgrade in depth of substrate. So let's see what it does.